What's up, my friends? Listen, this is the most amazing day you'll ever experience, my friends. Here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with amazing, right? So you got to access that amazing so you can feel amazing, my friend. This is your job each and every day. There's nothing wrong with amazing. Amazing is accessible to everybody. So if you can't feel amazing, my friend, it's nothing wrong with amazing. So if you can't feel amazing, my friend, something has to be wrong with you, my friend. Go get your amazing, my friend. You are amazing, so you need your amazing each and every day. Not your coffee, you need your amazing, my friend. So here's the thing, right? We're in 2023, we are knee deep in it, about eight days in it, right? I got some sound advice for you to help you to make this the best year of your life, my friend. You got what it takes, you just need to make some adjustments. And you gotta feel amazing, my friend. So here's some advice for you. This year, right, in this 2023, don't get so caught up. Don't keep beating yourself up over the results. Don't focus so much on the results. This is what you've been doing each and every other year and you wonder why you continue to be on this roller coaster, this emotional roller coaster, my friend. Nah. See, here's the thing. We are most prone to quit when we become too attached to the results of our efforts. So don't focus so much on the results, just keep adding value, keep getting better, keep making progress. That has to be your focus in 2023, my friend. Here's the thing, here's why. Because it's all about the journey. We are all on a journey in some way, shape, or form. It's all about the journey. And in the journey, it's not about where you go. It's not about what you get. See, that's what you keep looking at in the results. You keep focusing on where you're gonna go, where you're gonna land, what you're gonna get. It's not about where you go or what you get. The journey is all about who you become, my friend. Who you become, that's what the journey is all about. So stop focusing so much on the result and focus on personal development because here's the hard truth. No progress, no reward, my friend. It's all about the progress, right? So here's the thing, measuring progress in life is a lot like driving a car, right? Case in point, you're driving a car, you're just chilling, driving a car. You look at the speedometer, you're going 60 miles an hour. Okay, I'm cool, I'm chilling, I'm driving a car. And then you take your foot off the gas pedal, right? And you look at the speedometer, okay, I'm still going 60 miles an hour. But what eventually happens in the next couple seconds? The car starts to decelerate. The car starts to slow down, right? And here's why. Here's why the car starts to slow down. See, in life, you're either moving forward, right? Getting closer to accomplishing and achieving your goals or you're moving backwards, right? You're moving backwards further and further away from achieving and accomplishing your goals. But you're never staying the same because there's no such thing 
as staying the same. That's why that car starts to decelerate. That car starts to slow down, but it's not just the car. So is your life. Once you stop focusing on moving forward and making progress, it's no such thing as staying the same. So don't deceive yourself. Okay, everything is just right the way I need it. I just want to keep everything the same. <laughs> Come on, my friend. That's self-deception, the worst kind of deception. Nothing stays the same. You know that life is all about evolution, constant change. Stop focusing so much on the result and focus on making progress and getting better. Right? And here's three reasons why you got to keep your foot on the gas, my friend, at all costs. Right? Number one, here's the thing. In order to make consistent progress in this life, you need power and i'm not talking about external power i'm talking about power from the inside out my friend i'm talking about organized thought and organized effort see once your thoughts and your efforts are organized you start to move vertically and eventually you break through right but if your thoughts and your and your and, and if your thoughts and your efforts aren't organized then you're moving laterally, side by side, no progress. You're not making forward progress. And since there's no such thing as staying the same, you're actually declining. You are actually regressing. You are actually moving backwards, my friend, because there's no such thing as staying the same, right? And number two, here's the thing. I know what you're wondering. How could I... How I used to be so good at making progress, but now I'm stuck in quicksand. It's like, it's like I want to move forward, but I can't. And here's why. Celebrating old progress for too long prevents you from making new progress. That's why you're stuck in quicksand, my friend, because you keep celebrating that thing from 10 years ago and it's over. Instead of celebrating that, reproduce that. At least you're not celebrating old progress. You're investing in creating new progress. OK, give yourself a deadline for celebrations. It's OK to celebrate. You're supposed to celebrate micro wins and that leads to macro wins. But here's the thing. How long are you going to celebrate? couple days a couple weeks okay that's ideal years you still celebrating and patting yourself on the back for stuff that happened 5 10 20 30 40 years ago come on my friend the world moves on life moves on and you have to move on it's all about the progress my friend that's why you can't make new progress because you celebrating old progress for too long and number three you got to develop a greatness mindset a mind bold enough to believe right that it takes extreme mental discipline to maintain consistent progress in and throughout your life it takes mental control mental discipline to maintain consistent progress in and throughout your life, my friend, how consistent are you, my friend? How much mind control do you have? How disciplined are you, my friend? What's your character like? Because, you know, we got to build godly character. What's your conduct like? You know, we got to establish godly conduct. And what's your commitment like? You know, we got to defend our godly commitment because the world is always challenging it, my friend. And never forget this. You were born to be great. <laughs>